Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we are continuing with our topic of electrostatics. And last time we discussed uh, Coulomb's law, the definition of Coulomb's law, which you must know. We must know the definition of an electric field. Then we went further and we discussed um, uh, the pattern, the electric field pattern that will be noticed when we have a positive and negative charge. And then we've also went further. We said that what is the pattern that if you have a positive charge, we'll have radial lines going outwards. And if you have a negative charge sphere, we'll have radial lines going inwards. And then we said, if you have two spheres that come uh, in the vicinity of each other, then if you have a positive sphere with a negative sphere, then we'll have this pattern. And we said that if you have two positive spheres or like charges, if they have two positive spheres, the pattern will be like this, where they, they repel each other when the arrow is going out. And if they are negative charge spheres, then the pattern will be the same, but the arrows will be going in. And if we have parallel plates, then we have a uniform electric field where the field lines go from positive to negative. And on the edges, we have uh, the, curl, uh, the curved lines as we see in the diagram. Now, going further today, we will be discussing Coulomb's law where we, if we, uh, if we have an example relating to calculations, they, they ask us to calculate the electric field strength or the electrostatic force or electrical potential energy. Now we have a diagram here. If you look at our diagram, we see that we've got a positive sphere and a negative sphere that is 20 millimeters apart. The, the charge of the positive sphere is two microcoulombs and the charge of the negative sphere is minus four microcoulombs. And they can ask us, they can give us the scenario and they can ask us, for example, calculate the electric field strength between uh, uh, a specific distance away from one of the spheres. They can ask us to calculate the electrostatic force between the spheres. They can ask us to calculate the electric potential energy between the spheres. So we're gonna look at all three scenarios relating to this diagram. So let us begin. And if you look at the first thing, they can ask us to calculate the electric field strength, say uh, a distance, we can choose a distance, say 10 millimeters. Uh, 10 millimeters away from, say, the two microcoulomb charge. So say at the distance x there. So to work out electric field strength, we know that the equation, we're talking about an E. So if you look at the equation, it's E is equals to, E is equals to K, Q over R squared. So if you look at K, K is uh, electrostatic constant. So if you look at it, we can say it's equals to nine times 10 to the power nine. That's our electric electrostatic constant. Q will be the charge that we are talking uh, about. And in this case, we're saying that it is 10 millimeters from the two microcoulomb charge, so it will be 2 times 10 to the power minus 6. And if you look at the distance that we are talking about, it will be 10 millimeters, so we have to take 10 millimeters, and we have to convert it to meters, so we multiply that by 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 1,000. And the important thing is we mustn't forget that we have to square the denominator. We have to square the denominator. And if we calculate it using our calculator, we can see we will get the answer. And we see that the answer we get is 1,8 times 10 to the power 6. And that's electric field strength yeah, is measured in newtons per coulomb. So that is how we will do the first particular sum. Looking at the second one, if you have to work out the electrostatic force, then here, because the word force is used, uh, we have to, the, the word force gives us a clue that we have to work out F. So in this case, we have to work out F. Now, it can be a bit confusing because you see the word electric, electrostatic, electrical, they all sound the same. But to make it easier, the moment you see the word force, then you know the word, and you must use F. So to work out F, then we have to use Coulomb's law, which is F is equals to K, Q1, Q2, 
over r squared. And if you work this out using Coulomb's law, it's a pity my, my pen is giving me a bit of a problem. If you work it out, k is 9 times 10 to the 9, q1 will be 2 times 10 to the minus 6, uh, q2 will be minus 4 times 10 to the minus 6, and r squared will be 20 millimeters divided by meters all squared, and we will get the answer now. Just to do that quickly, so just to save time, I, I wrote it out a bit neater for us, although it's not too neat, and we see that the k is 9 times 10 to the 9, Q1 will be the charge of the one sphere, 2 microcoulombs, and Q2 will be the charge of the other sphere, 4 microcoulombs, and we don't put the positive and negative charge here, and then we divide it by 20 times 10 to the minus 3 because we have 20 millimeters, and we must change the 20 millimeters to meters, so you, you have to divide, you have to divided by a thousand, so it's like it's the same as times in ten, times 10 to the minus 3, and we mustn't forget to square the, the answer, and if we do it with the calculator, we get an answer of 1,8, 1, 1,8 times, oops, just bear with me, 1,8 times 10 to the power 2, Newtons. So that would be the answer because force is measuring Newtons. So we can write it as 1,8 times 10 to the power 2 Newtons. Or even if you had to write the whole answer, there wouldn't be a problem with that. Which will be uh, 180 Newtons if you're not writing it in scientific notation. That will be acceptable. So this is how we can do a simple sum related to Coulomb's law. Now, the, another question they can ask you is to calculate the electric potential energy. Now, when you work out the electric potential energy, then the symbol for that will be U. And the equation for U is U is equals to K Q1 Q2 divided by R. And here we don't have the square at the bottom. And I'm not going to, to, I'm going to write out the calculations quickly for you and work out the answer. And here we have it where I've uh, worked it out for us. And here we see that we must put the minus sign in and we get a charge of minus 3,6 joules. I, I, I just remembered also that here we don't put a positive or negative sign in when we work out the Coulomb's law. But in the answer, we must uh, say whether it is attraction or repulsion. So because the one is a positive charge and the one is a negative charge, we can say 180 newtons, and then here we should add attraction. And that will uh, complete the answer for this case here. So those are three aspects that can be asked relating to Coulomb's law, simply put. That if we, if we have two spheres, and there are certain distance apart, they can ask us to calculate the electric field strength between the charges, and then we must say E is equal to KQ over R squared. And then if they ask us to work out the electrostatic force, then we must say F is equal to KQ and Q2 over R squared. And if they ask us to work out the electric potential energy, then we must use U is equal to KQ and Q2 over R. So just before we conclude, I just uh, double checked our calculations and I've made the same error that I said we shouldn't make, where when we work out E is equals to KQ over R squared, if you work out the squared, then we don't get 1,8 times 10 to the 6, we get 1,8 times 10 to the 8. So be careful with that and just double check your sum so that you don't make the simple uh, silly error that we get. So the answer here is 1,8 times 10 to the power 8 newtons per coulomb. Thank you very much for listening.